Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Graham. Um, and it's uh, terrific to be here. First of all, I'd like to um, acknowledge uh, that the land we meet on today is traditional lands of the Ghana people, and they respect their spiritual relationship uh, with their country. Your participation uh, in the STEM camp shows a great dedication to your studies. And uh, I think uh, one of the things that does uh, send a very strong message to uh, your educators and your parents and all those people you know is how keen you are to get involved in your education and get some really good outcomes so you've got choices uh, by the time uh, you finish school. Uh, and studying subjects uh, in the science and technology, engineering and maths areas, and I, I know you've been looking at arts as well, this year would have shown you some um, options that are available. I know some of, the, some of the places that you visited you found very interesting and that the fact that learning maths and science and other sorts of uh, subjects at school put you in a prime position to be working in those areas. And, and of course we've got lots of opportunity coming to South Australia now with the, with the defence contracts that are coming. Uh, uh, there will be opportunities for those that have gone on to university but there will also be lots of opportunities for those that choose to do apprenticeships and we're very committed to making sure South Australians are ready to take on the challenges and, the be, uh, and are skilled for the jobs that are coming with the, uh, the massive defence industry opportunities that are coming to South Australia. I think you went out to ASC, you probably got some idea as to what's coming. You, you saw how big that, uh, that uh, space is with just the, the small amount of work that's been happening um, over the last uh, 25 years in that area. Uh, but uh, that work now has been uh, tripled and quadrupled. Um, over the next 40 years, there will be $90 billion of defence spending. Huge opportunity for uh, students at, um, at your age that are, that are learning about maths and science to move into technical apprenticeships and also uh, moving on to university to participate in that process. So I'm very pleased to hear that you've had a, a very hectic and busy week. Uh, looking at some practical experiences you will be able to use to participate uh, or practical experiences that your STEM education will uh, come in handy for you to, to uh, be able to have opportunities in those areas. We're very focused on helping individual students get the best out of their education and of course then use their education to start careers that can take them anywhere. One of the things that we're doing uh, in the SACE curriculum is we're introducing for the first time in Australia, South Australia will be the first state, an entrepreneurial curriculum. Uh, we know that um, uh, many of you have terrific ideas about where you want to be in the future, what should happen in the world, what should happen in your neighbourhood, and that's the beginning of, of an entrepreneurial spirit that we want to formalise and give you the skills so as that you can identify opportunities and then exploit them for your careers, uh, for your career options and, and for your job. So we're introducing in years 10 and 11 uh, an entrepreneurial curriculum where, you, and that'll be available in um, every school across uh, South Australia. Uh, we'll have four entrepreneurial high schools. Two of those will be in regional South Australia and two of them will be in metropolitan Adelaide. And just like um, music is available across the curriculum, across the schools, languages are available across the curriculum, across the schools, there are some um, language specialist high schools and some music specialist high schools, we will have the, uh, the entrepreneurial curriculum available right across, uh, right across our schools, but also those four specialist schools where there'll be a very strong connection uh, with the private sector. That connection you've all experienced uh, this week on your uh, camp, uh, you'll have that embedded into those entrepreneurial schools so as that you're working uh, with uh, real life businesses uh, and we'll see some real live activity, entrepreneurial activity happening in those schools. So it's, a, um, it's an exciting time in South Australia and the fact that you're focused on those areas, those study areas that we need to see develop in South Australia in order to ensure that we've got the skills here to take those challenges on. Areas um, uh, in defence, medical technologies, uh, mining, uh, agriculture and cyber, cyber and digital, a huge space. Uh, available for um, uh, a complete change in the way uh, um, workplaces have operated in years gone by. Uh, we're setting up the uh, entrepreneurial uh, hub at the old Royal, Royal Adelaide Hospital site. I'm not sure whether you're aware of, of that project, but the old uh, heritage buildings that are there will be converted into a, uh, an entrepreneurial centre where uh, you'll be able to walk in off the street and uh, hire a desk and start 
your entrepreneurial activity and, and work mixed with another 650 or so uh, young entrepreneurs, exchange ideas, uh, be mentored by experienced people that will be use, using that space as well um, and have access to, um, to research um, and also um, uh, venture capital. Uh, these are people that will, might want to invest in your ideas. So we're, we're, we're focusing uh, very strongly on, um, on that area. The thing I noticed when I, when I walked in here, I could, I could sense an enormous amount of enthusiasm from everybody in the room. And the quick briefing I had about what you've been up to and what you've been doing uh, over the last week makes it easy for me to understand why I noticed that when, when I arrived. I'm very excited about what you've learnt this week. I'm very excited with what you're going to be doing with that experience, that information, over the next uh, year or two as you're um, completing your, uh, your education. And I wish you all the very best of, uh, of luck and success uh, in um, achieving the goals that you've set for yourself through your education so you can end up in a, in a job that is an actual career, it's a lifestyle for you, something that you really enjoy doing. They say that um, uh, when you enjoy uh, your job, uh, it's not a job, uh, it is um, uh, a hobby that you get paid for and, uh, and I think that that's the ultimate goal of, uh, of those um, uh, who enter the workforce to enjoy what they're doing and the preparation work that you've done in learning about your options this week will set you up to help put you in that position. So congratulations for participating. Uh, and um, I understand you had a terrific time uh, and thank you very much for the opportunity to come here and meet you and, uh, and have a chat to you. Thank you. Well done.